Hi, Ted Brooks, MagLogix, here to talk to you more about the Rotabest series of mag drills from Alpha out of Germany. The RB35 and the RB50, its big brother, are both SP or switchable permanent magnets, using the MagLogix switchable permanent magnet to hold them in place even when the power goes out. Even on thin metal, for the first time you can safely drill. But they both have a patent pending safety sensor system that I want you to understand because it's so important. It's information and that's all it is, is good information back to you, the user, so you can make good decisions on how to drill. First thing to know is that the safety sensor is in the very front of the magnet. That allows us to detect in real time the very slightest peel away, the very slightest breakaway before it even happens, before you can even notice it. We can actually shut the motor off or warn you of a dangerous situation. The reason it's important to understand where that sensor is, is because the sensor, like any sensor you have probably in your garage door, can be tricked. Let's take a couple of examples. If this sensor is the only part of the magnet that's not in contact with the steel, the sensor is going to give you a warning light. We'll talk about that in a moment, even though you probably have plenty of holding power. Just good information for you to know about. Conversely, if the sensor is the only part of the magnet that's actually in contact with the steel, you might think you've got great holding power, even when you obviously don't. Some of the things that we want to make sure you're aware of when you make good decisions about how to drill with these units, even on thin metals, which is where they truly excel. Everybody can work on thick metal. We do a beautiful job there too, but we actually work on thin when nobody else does. So let me show you a little bit more about the safety sensor system and how it works. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on some 10 gauge steel, push the handle down, and you now see that you've got a green light. That green light is not an electrical indication. It's an indication of sufficient holding force of the magnet to the surface you're on. Some of the things that could affect that, like I showed you before, is partial contact with the steel. Might give you a green light when you shouldn't have one, or might give you a red light when you shouldn't have one. Other things that could affect it is excessive air gap caused by debris, caused by paint, caused by excessive rust, caused by patterns of cutouts in the steel you're working on. So you should know that the sensor can be tricked, but it's incredibly valuable information, and it performs a vital safety feature we'll show you now. If I am drilling, and I do drill a little too hard, and I am pushing a little too fast, and I do start to peel away. The first thing you notice when I'm peeling away from something this thin is it starts flashing. That's giving me a quick warning that I'm putting too much effort into it. I need to back off. If I do actually continue without regard, it'll actually turn solid red. When it turns solid red, it actually shuts the motor off for me instantly and prevents some of the helicoptering that causes so much damage. So let's go ahead and turn this on in a couple of scenarios. At this point, I can safely fire up the motor. This is a lifetime membrane switch rated for about a million cycles of operation. You won't have to rebuild the switch every five or 10,000 cycles. If I do have a situation where the sensor is off the steel, you notice it gives me a red indicator. At this point, I cannot turn the machine on. I've had a warning given to me. I've got good information I need to think about. I take a look at this situation and I say, I've got plenty of holding power. I'm okay, thanks for the warning. I hold the off button down for two seconds. And as you can see, the light goes out. At this point, I've shut off the safety sensor system. I've made an affirmative decision to turn it off. At this point, I can now turn it on, and I can proceed. We're just gonna tell you to proceed with caution. You've been advised there's something unique about that situation. Turn it off, bring it back over, put it back on my steel, turn it on, I've got a green light, I'm ready to go again. A great safety feature, but you do need to understand how it works, how it can be tricked, and what kind of information it gives you that's the safety sensor system in the RB series of permanent magnet drills from Alfra.